Give us an idea of how important South Korea is to the future of a company like Facebook. Well, Samsung is, as you said, the smartphone leader, and Facebook desperately needs to increase its presence in mobile phones. So it's sort of a match made in heaven. We heard yesterday from Samsung's David Un talking about how that company is investing more in content. Um, so it makes sense for both sides, I think. And it's interesting, Mark Zuckerberg wore a suit for the South Korean president, but a hoodie for the executives there at Samsung. Samsung was, of course, one of the first to offer a Facebook. Facebook home phone. You know, how does this play into Facebook's plan for the future, especially given the mixed reviews of that phone so far? Well, so, Facebook doesn't have its own mobile phone and doesn't have its own mobile operating system. So, it's a very important for this company to. It, to the most, to best of its ability, to play phone makers against one another. You know, back in back early in its history with Apple, there were talks about tensions with Apple. Well, what did it, what did Facebook do after that? They went and they buddied up to the Android operating system. Um, so I think what we're seeing, as you said, the Facebook Home operating system, maybe not taking off as as fast as they expected. Maybe that they want to do a closer integration with Samsung to try to you know improve that and build build a new version of Home. Now there's a Facebook event coming up this week on Thursday. We're hearing a lot of speculation about what it could. Be Instagram for video or video for Instagram, I should say. What can you tell us about it? Uh, so we don't know. There's always a lot of expe uh, speculation and there's always a lot of anticipation every time Facebook has an event. It's usually some kind of significant product. Um, so there's two leading theories. One is perhaps, as you said, a video product to compete uh, with something like Twitter's Vine, maybe some kind of short video upload. Um, and you know, Twitter's Vine has had enormous popularity since they launched that just a few months ago. The other Another theory is that perhaps Facebook wants to do some kind of news reading service, similar to a, uh, a flipboard that lets you kind of, uh, you know, elegantly, visually skim through the news. So we don't know which one it is. Um, you know, either one of those would be probably compelling products and probably, you know, cause a lot of startups and a lot of, you know, competition to react. But we'll have to wait and see for a few days.